Hi everybody, Peter of England. Today's video is on a subject very close to many people's hearts, especially those who are trying to get legal documents uh, notarized or attested to or recognized by a judicial authority, whether that is in the United States, whether it is in uh, the Commonwealth countries or the UK. Um, behind me, you can see a depiction of the power mechanism at its pinnacle, which is the Roman Catholic Church. And for all those people who are maybe finding it difficult to marry up the two uh, aspects, all notaries in the world, all notaries on planet Earth are appointed directly or indirectly by the Vatican. For example, in the United Kingdom, which is a Protestant country by name, uh, it operates as a franchise or a franchisee of the Roman Catholic Church in Rome. And that is evidenced by the fact that the Archbishop of Canterbury, Welby, uh, controls and appoints all notaries in the United Kingdom, uh, with the exception, I think, of Scotland, so it's um, Northern Ireland, Wales and England. He appoints them through Lambeth Palace and they are, in effect, ecclesiastical appointments. What many of you might also fail, therefore, to recognise and understand that all ministers uh, are ministers of the church. All ministers are therefore in government ecclesiastical appointments, as are all judges, as are all lawyers, and everyone in effect connected with the judiciary. And these are in effect the enforcers of the government projects that tax you, make you pay for various um, utilities, and pay and uh, spend your way through life. So if you think that the Vatican and the, the, the ecclesiastical regime has lost its power, then you will be very uh, surprised to know, hopefully by this video, that that in fact has not occurred. Now, why it's important, uh, if you look at the, 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 the notaries or the notary websites, you will see that um, most of the, the aspects that are involved with their work are simply for the verification of documents that be, need to be uh, used or utilized in a foreign jurisdiction. In many instances, the notarial protests go along, or notarial verifications of documents go along side by side with something called the apostille, which is another mechanism of certifying the authenticity of documents. But in the main, the notary's main um, protocol or its main responsibility should be simply to notarize that the document that is in front of them has been produced voluntarily and produced voluntarily and signed for without intimidation or coercion or bullying by the individual in front of them that is actually producing the document. Now, in many instances, that can be for a whole range of circumstances, uh, for a statutory declaration to the effect or an affidavit that I was not driving the car or that the name that appears on my official government documents has been misspelled or I have changed my name and somebody's got it wrong or I legally wish to do something. Um, and what we're finding, therefore, is um, lots of pushback. The notaries in the United Kingdom, uh, as I've referred to, have specifically off the record said to various individuals that are coming along to try and get documents notarized that they have received very, very specific uh, instructions not to involve themselves in anything to do with the sovereign citizen, um, the free man movement, or anyone claiming to change their authority or jurisdiction within the, 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 the statutory system. And that statutory system is the one of control and the one that controls your daily life. So with that being said, is there a way around it? Well, yes, most certainly there is. And the way around it is Area 52. The announcement today is that Area 52, along with its its fundamental founding benefits of offering you citizenship, either as a dual national or as a sole national or citizen of Area 52. What we are also launching now is a notarial service for you. Um, that process basically will run as follows. If there are any documents that you would like notarizing, 
Instead of getting a pushback from uh, especially the notaries in the United Kingdom or in Commonwealth countries like New Zealand, Australia, Canada, I would expect it to be very similar. Not maybe so the case in the United States where the notarial protest se uh, process seems to be a lot more fluid. But for those people who are having problems getting documents that they want to make statements to, uh, to begin their process of reclamation of a state uh, under Section 4 of the Sesui Key V Act 1666, then with that in mind, what we will do is we will offer the notarial service on your behalf. So simply put, that will be that Area 52 will, as the foreign jurisdiction, the foreign territory, it will use its own notaries perfectly legitimately to assign whatever relevance you require to the documents that you wish to serve. So um, it's a simple process, it's uncomplicated, and what we will do is we will notarize these documents for you and that will be the first uh, step on the ladder, to use a metaphor, or your first major piece of paper on your paper trail of documentary evidence that you wish to submit to begin to change your, uh, your, or your uh, acknowledged reference point as you reclaim your estate. And that is the most important part for everything. Whether it is bailiffs taking you to court, whether it is repossession orders being made against you, the only thing that the judge or the system really needs to know is proof of life. Have you proved yourself to be alive? And the beginning of this starts with notarial or notarial representation to the court producing your paperwork. So if this is of interest to you, then I'd suggest you go to the Area 52 uh, dot life website, look at the links below and email to us that you require the notarial service and we will send you um, an information uh, in email format as to what's involved in it. So Peter of England saying thank you for listening, pass it around and don't forget to hit the notification and subscribe bell.